Bowser Jr. Ooh. I know. I don't see these people that often. I'm so excited. I know. It's it's a weird thing to say that we haven't seen a Palu in so long. But yeah, I'm excited back. to watch a Bowser Jr. <laughs> That's one of my favorite characters to watch. No, I like watching Bowser Jr. a lot. Like, he's so f goofy. Like... Goofy behavior is on my screen right now. I love this little dude. I love it. I, he wraps so much damage up so quickly. I love watching shenanigans. Yeah, the little Koopa bomb coming out. I, I love the little little Mecha Koopa. Just go, my child. Hold down the neutral. Go, my child. Be free. Do not talk to me or my son ever again, Antics. <laughs> but right now, of course, we do have Palu and we have Bowser Jr. Palu, we have seen there. John, they're not 1-1 right now. <laughs> this is... Game one, thank you. So yeah, we have a Bowser Jr. and Palu. Palu, we have seen a few Palus over here, here and there, of course. Most notably, we do have Jen over in tri which I haven't seen in a while. Jen, we miss you, come back. But I'm glad to see the different Palu coming, kind of coming over. She might have to, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, Palu. <laughs> Palu has a lot more of the reflector against uh, these Koopa, like these Mega Koopas that Terra Boy is being a, a bear kill? Is doing amazing at setting up against C. And yeah, the upper kill is gonna really get it, take it for uh, for Turbo that first stock. All right, Palo up air not gonna be able to take it. No rage on the board right now for C. Oh, and you got hit by an up air, which means it's time for five more, and you're at 55. <laughs> and here's a Koopa, a Mega Koopa, just fear troubles. Back air, back throw, not. I can't say back air, back throw. <laughs> Oh, I love that uh, setup that Terra Boy did with the cannonball, where he shot it really high and shot it with a low enough charge Beautiful. that it would fall down onto the ledge where C was waiting, and then Terra Boy went low so as to you know move the camera away from the cannonball. Yeah, super smart on, on their, both of them behalf, but like you know, we have C a nine percent, and honestly, I've seen if she's able to get these Palu nares, I keep misgendering uh, C because I think of Palu, but you know. If C, if he's able to get these Polynares, which he's saying very well, he's probably up for juggles, he will be able to do a lot of damage on Terraborn and make this game back to even as he should be. Ooh, all right, and I mean, Bowser Jr., that's side B, that's absolutely something you have to respect. Um, because, I mean, he can just do so much after it. He can, and he can stop himself. Oh Ooh, my right. god, he didn't get the up it, up smash. That is surprising. That, uh, that up smash, or C's up smash. The invincibility of neutral get up actually messed him up. That's insane. Mm. All right, trying to cover on that to ledge. Yeah, there's that cannonball set up again. Just a little bit uh, misspaced, or rather, C had spaced himself around it. Right. Not really going off stage at all to contest this Bowser Jr. And Which I don't think you should either, honestly. I but finally, take it. the ledge traps paying off with the back air. <laughs> Terra Boy looking for these up air, especially uh -oh. on a uh, stage like Battlefield, you know, Terra Boy's gonna be able to get a lot of those. The solo, uh, solo C, as you can see right here, we have the Nair goes into uh, the back air, and, uh, and we saw early some up air juggling from, uh, from C. So if he's able to continue that momentum, he will be able to, you know, take this first game for himself and away from Terra Boy, who has been having an amazing lead up until this point. Right, that was a great timing mix up by C right there with the forward air. All right, down throw, looking for the back air, not going to be able to find it. And they're going to be putting him back off stage. Oh no, he's not oh, coming back, no. Oh, you're just dead, okay. Yeah, no, he's not going to come back. I think Terraboy might have thought he had a jump that he didn't. Too bad for you. Oh, I was drinking water. Ha ha ha. No worries. <laughs> but yeah, really great start from Terra Boy and C. You know, Terra Boy had a really great lead the f for the first uh, few few minutes, minutes of the game, but C was able to kind of capitalize on Battlefield's uh, attributes that really worked well to Palu's uh, Palu's strengths, such as using Nair, U Air, and um, and of course uh, Back Air uh, setups that she's able to really capitalize on with this stage specifically. So I'm I'm hoping to see some kind of uh, oh oh I got excited. I thought we can see Kazuya. All right, now I'm out. I, and but I, I wonder what stage they might kind of put to. Uh, let's see. I it think it might have been TNC. It yeah, was TNC. TNC. One, Good go. choice. I definitely agree with this choice, uh, specifically for Bowser Jr. because he can really move around with both his projectiles and a little bit of Koopas. Right, and I mean, <clears throat> that's also just so much space that he can run around in uh, in the cart too. But that that little cart is so speed. <laughs> Oh, and another uh, great thing for Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. will actually love these closed town and city blast zones um, because his jab is a kill move. 
uh, his, uh, his finishing jab will kill pretty reliably. And I'd say, you know, maybe even starting around these percentages, but not if C is giving him any opportunities to do so. Okay, scary air dodge, wow. and C was ready with the down smash. That was really great hand confident by C. You know, he was able to actually um, catch a lot of Terraboy's jumps with uh, with either Palu Nair or Palu Up Air. And that's something you guys should really watch out with Palu in general. Being juggled by her is not very fun because she, she brings it out so quickly and she can follow you so easily. So, you know, hopefully C is. Yep. Terraboy is going to take, they take this first lock from C. And, right. you know, not impossible for Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. does like a lot of gen very quickly if he's able to. Oh, like when you, he gets an up air. And he wants five more. Yep. It's BOGO season, bruh. Already, you know, getting the percent lead back. All right, have to deal with all of the projectiles coming C's way. Right. He just throws it at Palu. It's so funny. And Terraboy was even able to get a kill out of it, uh, getting the Mecha Koopa catching the, I think it was a neutral getup I see, and able to convert it into the back air. And now Terraboy is back in the lead. All right, not able to punish that F smash there. All right, I, th I thought, was, oh, grabbing the Mecha Koopa, just be jumping it, not going to do anything with it, not going to be able to take any kind of percent, uh, percent a lead with the Mecha Koopa in uh, C's hand. But no, it doesn't matter when he's able to kind of do a back throw, might be throw, a little bit, no. okay, no, that's, that's a good opportunity though. Great. Oh, no. Not able to get anything after the, the down tilt. And another attempt at that uh, up smash to catch a get up could see a, a jab combo. I'm loving Terraboy's timings on those neutral get ups because he knows that Palu typically does tend to use a uh, up smash right at the ledge. Ooh. Oh, that, that might be it. Yep. Taking that second stock from Terraboy. And both players have one, a one stock kind of situation right now. C1 one, uh, one game up. So, you know, he, I think he's trying to close it out as much as he can with those, uh, those Palu Nairs. Right. Uh oh. Terraboy had the percent lead, but quickly saw it, you know, disintegrate away with really just one Nair combo and another one. Terraboy tried to fight his yes, way I'm, off. Oh, I love Town and City. God, I, I, I was loving the patience from, um, from, uh, from C right there. Yeah, I don't remember where they were. I was like, oh, who's who? <laughs> From a C. C did an amazing job just waiting for what kind of recovery option Terrible Boy was going to do and using the platform to his advantage is big brain play. Yeah, I really feel like a, a, quite a few times this set, we saw Terrible Boy just pulling the trigger on some hitboxes a little bit too early. And we saw, especially right there, uh, Terrible Boy tried to come up from the ledge with a forward air and it just didn't work out for him, lost him the set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, C 